Alright, so today I actually got the opportunity to go visit a new bike park that I've never been to before. A lot of people have been to it here, but I've never gotten the chance because I've never had the time. I always had extracurricular classes on the day where it opens, which is Wednesdays. Today is actually Tuesday. And because this thing is happening right now, I managed to go with someone who actually goes there regularly. But before I get into the story and before I show you the clips of me going there, I just wanted to say that make sure to like and subscribe. And if you really, really enjoy it, make sure to actually share these videos with other people so that we can get our channel to grow. But without further ado, let's get into the stories. So the bike park that I went to is called El Socorro Bike Park. It's actually really close by and it's mostly similar to some of the other parks I go. It has a pump track, it has a little area in the middle where you can just mess around, it has some tabletops, actual trails. But what's different about this one, it actually has a slope style course and it's super cool. And it looks super fun but also looks super dangerous like any normal slope style course. But what we ended up doing is actually going up to see all the trails and to kind of decide on what we were going to do. So we started going. And there's no lift, there's no pickups, there's no nothing. You have to pedal up there the good old fashioned way. And I'm not used to pedaling that much because usually all the bike parts I go to, uh, the one I actually regularly attend to is you have to climb up but it's a really gentle slope and it's really small. It's in like the area of a house. So it's really not that big of a push. But here you have to climb the good old fashioned way. And boy was it a difficult climb. The person I was going with, it was actually way easier for him because he's used to cross country, he's used to climbing. That's what he does. He also had clips and a longer stem, which made it easier for him to climb. But me, I'm not that used to cross country. As you can see in the time lapse that I took, most of the time I was off my bike. I only lasted on my bike the very beginning, at the very beginning, yeah. But once we got up there, it was actually really cool because I couldn't realize how far away we were from where I was initially. You can see the highway, which is like on the opposite place of where the bike park is located. So that was actually quite a climb. But once we got to the trailhead, we actually decided what trail to go down. The jump line was out of the question because if you get hurt on the jump line, well, there's nothing you can really do. There's no, there's no hospitals open right now. But there were two other pro lines that look really interesting. And both of them were technical trails. Now, I've never been to like a full-on technical trail. In the bike park that I regularly attend, there is this little technical section, but it's really fast. There's, a, there's like a lot of routes there, but it really doesn't last that long. This is like a full-on, the name of the trail is Roots. It's literally Roots. Yeah, it was definitely a little scary at the beginning when I actually realized what trail I went to, but I said, you know what, this is something different, I'm going to do it. Now there's definitely sections where I could have been more careful and there's definitely sections where I could have fallen and there's actually one right at the end. It was just terrible. I was just going way too fast. I just threw myself down a slope that I didn't know. I had no idea how intense it was. I have no idea how I didn't fall but after that the trail ended there was that was it it was like what a 20 25 maybe mega climb a really intense 25 mega climb and it was just like maybe five minutes of downhill trail but for what you got I think it was really fun really fun five minutes but in the future if I do end up like buying an e-bike for example I would definitely go there all the time just session those trails all day but all in all it was really fun i'm really happy that i finally got to go and i was definitely not disappointed in what the bike park had to offer i will definitely be going there again but the only thing that turns me off about that bike park is the climb but i definitely want to check out the other technical road and i want to check out the jump lane i think that'll be really fun but that's what i had time for today and i'm really grateful that i managed to get out of the house and do something so that's my story of el socorro bike park I feel like it was definitely really fun. And if you enjoyed this short little video, make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out a lot. It really helps the channel grow. And it tells me that you guys are enjoying the videos. But anyways, that's it for me today. And I'll see you tomorrow.